Okay, set up instructions. Start up instructions for the Boss semi-automatic cutoff saw from Wayne Machinery. Make sure both doors are cl closed and shut all of the way. On the main control panel, depress the power on button. The light comes on in the machine and the lights are blinking in the top corner. The machine will go to home position and the screen display screen should display rod cutoff saw once it has completed that. Depress anywhere on the screen and it goes to the main menu. The main menu has five buttons of which with the semi-automatic boss saw you will only be using setup and manual. So to begin with, setup is mostly already done. That is all of your setting parameters for your speeds and feeds. They're defaulted from the factory, however you can go in there and manually change those if you want to. So we're going to press manual. We're going to go to single cut. Continue. Now we're going to put in the blank diameter. So we check the end mill and we measure the diameter that we want to cut off. The diameter we want to cut off on this one is 0.625. So you enter in 0.625. Enter. It is in here. Make sure it is correct on the screen. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to go to move to load position. The machine comes forward to a load position at that point in time. Also, the green light should appear when it does so. Now you may open the door and take the cutter and put it in to position where you would like it to cut off at. So however much you want to cut off, you put it past the area to cut off and then simply turn the handle to hold the cutter in place. Make sure your coolant lines are positioned so they are pointing towards the cut point on the, on the end mill. Depress, close the doors, both doors, with both doors shut, continue back over to the main screen and depress cycle start. The coolant should come on at that point in time and the cutter will progress forward through the cut position and cut the part off and then return to a safe load position and shut off the saw and then it will be safe to unload the cutter and reload a new cutter.